Warrington Preparatory Academy is in the spotlight tonight again. Just nine weeks into the school year, Warrington Prep is reporting multiple incidents of bad behavior, including fighting and vandalism. The latest includes several students that the school says intentionally flooded a restroom, destroying several classrooms. Now, a number of concerned parents called WEAR for answers after saying that the students are being locked in their classroom and not allowed to attend their normal classes. Tanner Stewart spoke with parents today and heard from the school with their response to the issue and their reaction to the parents. Sue, good evening. Warrington Prep officials confirmed this temporary schedule change today, saying that it's all part of a culture change they expected when taking over this school. They also say, though, that parents are only hearing one side of this story. Warrington Prep 7th grade is on a different schedule than the rest of the school right now. School officials confirmed today that all elective classes are on hold. Students are permitted two scheduled bathroom breaks and there's no hot lunch or juice. 7th graders receive grab and go lunch inside their classrooms. Charter Schools USA officials tell me today that all 7th grade students are on the modified schedule after several students intentionally flooded a bathroom, destroying seven classrooms. And I'm told the issues go beyond that, with problems across the board. Officials say it's not just the flooding situation, the kids are out of control. I was told their behavior is improving dramatically because their freedoms are being taken away. Now parents are outraged. They don't let them leave to go to gym, recess, art, music. They can't leave the classroom for nothing. They're being denied access to go to the clinic. Jackie Saylor says her son and others are being wrongly punished for something they weren't involved with saying the students sit at their desks all day and given an improper lunch. She sent WEAR News this photo from her son's lunch today. My questions are, how is it fair to punish the children that were not involved in this? How is it fair to treat these children like inmates? Even the jailed prisoners, rapists and murderers, get an hour outside a day and a hot meal. I don't understand how it's okay to treat people's children this way. Sailor sent this letter to the school on Tuesday. It outlines her issues and essentially asks why the students are being treated this way. She says she's not received a response. Another parent who wished to remain anonymous says she's disappointed in the way things have panned out at the new charter school. After all, administrators were promising a brighter future when they took over this failing school. I'm disgusted with, you know, this is not what they promised us coming into our community. You know that these kids are only using the restroom twice a day. You know they're not getting fed properly. You know they're not getting the proper instruction. And nobody is saying anything. Charter School USA is, I mean, quite literally worse than what we were dealing with with Warrington at its worst. Now this afternoon, Charter Schools USA sent us a written statement saying, in part, parents are only hearing one side of the story. We strongly encourage parents to volunteer at the school and in the classrooms. And we knew the hardest part, and we were ready for it. You can read that full statement online, WEARTV.com. Reporting live tonight outside of Warrington Preparatory Academy, I'm Tanner Stewart.